can't help it, I ball like a Celtic. I can't help it, I ball like a Celtic. I can't help it, I ball like a Celtic. What's up, YouTube? I'm Arondo here with a video for y'all. Today we're gonna talk about the player I built initially in MB2K17. Why I built it this way and what is so special about it. So let's get it. My first player is a point guard. And he is a shot creator, obviously. Now here's where things get weird. My player height is a 5'7". Yes, 5 feet 7 inches. The reason why I did this is because of the effectiveness of 5'7 players in NBA 2K16. They were very good in that game and I thought that was also the case in NBA 2K17. Moving on to the wingspan, which is at its minimum. And so is his weight and shoulder width. This for the best shooting results, shooting ratings. I'm right handed in real life and so my player B and my real life number is 9 and so this will be my players. This is how I built my player in the pre-loop. Yes, this is my first build I have since the pre-loop. This is the jump shot I've been using most of the time. It's my Ronnie 2K jump shot with has a KD base and both releases Ronnie 2K. So release one is Ronnie 2K and release two also Ronnie 2K. I've put the speed on the 75 because the shot meter used to glitch a lot in the beginning of the game and I've kept it that way ever since. But after all, the jump shot you use is just all personal preference. Now to the animations. As I'm mostly shooting off dribble, the dribble pull up animation is the most important as a shot creator. After that comes the hop jumper animation. The pull up I've been using is Lance Stevenson's because to me it seems the smoothest and it's easy for me to get green lights with it. The spin jumper is also Lance Stevenson because it's essential within this height. A lot of defenders tend to jump, try to block in your shot. With this spin, I'll create just enough space to get a good shot off. And the hop step animation is normal too, because it definitely creates the most space for a non-contested shot, which is also important. Often when I play park, people message me with, why did you create a 5-7? Or is that your build? Or is that a serious player? I don't respond to them. The only thing I'll show them is how I play, how I beat them. You know, people think the 5.7s are trash. They are so underrated. I've never seen any other 5.7 player in the park who was seriously playing with it. I mean, like this was my first build. I was planning on being serious with the shot creator. I was serious with the shot creator and I still am. And I know just how to play with it. How to use its speed because that's something you get with it when you're short you're way faster i know how to play with it i know how to create my shot and that's what's important i understand though why people keep asking me that because on paper a 6-4 shot creator is way better than a 5-7 but in good hands a 5-7 player can be deadly and i've been using it since 2k16 so i can say that my hands are good for a 5-7 player I would like to know what you think about the 5-7 players. If you want to let me know something, leave your comment down below and I'll take a look at it and respond to it. I hope you like this gameplay I have for y'all. If you do, please drop a like to support the channel. And with that being said, I'm out.